Hello everyone, welcome to Excel problem solving series. So we have a very interesting problem for today. So we'll be looking into three or four new functions into this video. So let us suppose this is the set of students into my class. So I have the name of the students for just this case. I've taken the name of the students such as student one, student two, student three. So suppose that these are the name of the students which are mentioned into column A. In column B, it is the maths marks. In column C, it is the science marks. In column D, it will be English marks and in column E, I'll be getting the total marks scored by the student into all these three subjects. The rank of that particular student among the class. So in the class, let us suppose that there are 10 students only studying and the maximum marks for each subject is 100. So I have to fill randomly fill some marks here, which should be less than 100. So how should we fill that? So let us see. So we'll be using this particular function here that is rand between and we'll be writing what is the minimum marks and what will be the maximum marks. So let us take the minimum marks to be something like 65 and the maximum marks should be 100 because the maximum marks for each subject is 100. So I would hit enter. So you can see I've got a random marks here. I would just extend this for the row and I would extend this for the column also. And you can see the marks is changing dynamically every time I'm running the function for any row. So for this, the marks not to change, we will be copying this particular data set here and then we'll be pasting here only and then we'll be just pasting the values. So if we do this, the values will not change with time. Let us calculate the total marks scored by the students into the three subjects. So we have this function here, sum and I'll be providing the range, I'll hit enter. So you can see I've got the marks scored by the students into all the three subjects and I would drag the formula to the very last row. Now I have 10 students in my class and I want to provide the rank scored by that particular student. So the students who have scored the highest marks that should be provided rank one. Similarly, rank two, rank three and likewise all the other students. So let us see how do we calculate the rank thing. So I would write the rank function here. So is equal to rank i would write now the now very first thing i would need to provide the number on which we want to calculate the rank and next to that i would need to provide the range onto which i would be calculating the rank for that particular number so the range would be from the row 2 to row 11 and this should be constant for every other row which i'll be pasting the formula so it's so this particular e2 to 11 it should be constant into the formula so to make something constant we will be adding the dollar sign here so i'll just add the dollar sign here and then i will be just hitting enter so you can see i've got the rank value i would just drag the formula to the very last and you can see i've got the rank of the students according to their marks now what if i wouldn't have added the dollar sign so from this output you can see that the highest marks is 269 and the rank is provided as one similarly the next highest marks is 268 and the rank is provided at as two let us see if we had not provided the dollar value what would have been the situation so i would provide the number here and then i would have provided the range on which i'll be calculating the rank so let us say i would just provide the range from here to here and i would not provide the do dollar sign so i will hit enter here okay i got the rank as nine i'll just drag it to the very last and you can see 269 and 239 both are getting as rank one this is totally wrong and this is all because if you'll see if i'll just click on to the formula which is present in cell g11 so this particular cell which i've colored you will see the formula the range is from e11 to e20 so the formula has moved down while there is no other number present into this range only this number is present so that is why it is provided as rank one similarly so we need to fix our range whenever we are calculating the rank so that we are getting our rank correctly uh, i'll just take another option here so let's say i'll take the cell as g6 which i've colored in orange 
so for this also you can see the range is e6 to e15 so you can see these all numbers are neglected but we don't want to do this we want to calculate the rank value from all the students marks which are present into the class then you can see the range is moving down so we need to avoid this so, so for this we'll be adding the dollar sign so friends i hope you had liked this particular video do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis meet you in the next video thank you so much bye